，访谈图灵奖得主是种怎样的体验？图灵奖呢是计算机领域的最高奖项。虽然我离获得图灵奖还有那么一点点距离，但是呢，我非常有幸采访到了图灵奖得主约瑟夫·斯法基斯教授。As a Turing Award winner, what do you think? Should the people still choose in computer science as their as their major? I don't think that the young people should be influenced by such phenomena because、mm. uh, uh, there will be always need for highly qualified computer scientists and engineers.、Yeah. So、I know that many people now are obsessed by the idea of making money here and now,、mm. and and I don't think that this is a good idea. Do you think people would, should um、uh, do some more better balance on their work life? And,、uh... mm, no, I don't think so. <laughs> no. So, what do you think? Um, like and the open source of ChatGPT and all that kind of、uh, LMs or future AI technologies. There are some people arguing, like in terms of the open source as well, because one. On one side, people are saying like, if you do open source, people can insert like backdoors or like kind of some kind of viruses or some kind of dodgy code into the into the into the AI. But on the other hand, people are saying like, if you open source it, people will look into the other code and、uh, even make it yes, more safer. Yes, of course. Yes, 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 yes. Of course, yes, yes. This is also. I mean, this is what I call transparency. What about OpenAI? You think can OpenAI got us the 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 best technology, like in terms of、uh, LMs? Uh, uh, it's clear that this this is not the this is not the end of the story. I I think that that uh, uh, we are still、uh, in the beginning of an era where、uh, AI will play a very very important role、uh, for 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 the evolution, the development of 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 humanity and the development of knowledge. And of course, there are many, many open questions here. What, how humans will?、Uh, uh, the question of symbiosis between、uh, humans and machines. Okay, how、uh, we will、uh, live with、uh, increasingly intelligent systems or systems?、Uh, you see, uh, uh, until uh, the, the the end, let's say of the twentieth century,、uh, humans had the.、Uh, Privilege to produce knowledge, okay, and we're、mm-hmm. driving the development of knowledge. And now we have a competition from machines, okay. And the important question is how、uh, how humans and the machines、uh, will compete or will collaborate.、Mm-hmm. Uh, you mentioned that humans are limited in their capability to to understand complex situations, and machines are very good at that. Okay. Yes. So there is a kind of complementarity between human intelligence and and machine intelligence. And、mm-hmm. my,、uh, of course, my proposal is that we should、uh, take advantage of this. Yes. And um, uh, but the important thing is that humans、uh, keep control of the whole process.、Mm-hmm. So uh, I think that, uh, uh, as you said, the、uh, humans.、Uh, The, the, there is a limitation that is called uh, uh, cognitive uh, complexity. Humans、yeah. can understand the relations where you have、uh, not more than five different、uh, parameters. So, if、mm-hmm. I tell you a story with fifteen different persons, your characters are completely lost. Okay, it's、yeah. it's clear. So, humans are, are not strong at that. And and、uh, for this reason, all the theories we have, for instance, in physics, in biology. You have a simple, a simple narrative. Okay, you have,、uh, and、uh, we use these、uh, theories to th- sometimes to understand the complex phenomena, like economical,、mm-hmm. geophysical phenomena, where you have many parameters that can play a role here, or social、mm-hmm. phenomena. Uh, so, and and economists、uh, economists have been often criticized because they oversimplify economic phenomena. For instance. They use models that、uh, ignore completely the human factor, which is very important in in、yeah. economic phenomena. I think that in the future we will have uh, these uh, assistants, AI assistants, that will allow us to better predict situations. Of course, this will uh, uh, be a new kind of science because we will have uh, uh, predictability without understanding. So, if someday an oracle says. Oh, you should evacuate. I don't know Shanghai because there is an imminent danger. Okay, are you going、mm-hmm. to do that? Okay, if you don't understand why. Okay. So you mentioned about like an、um, uh, 
the the AI assistants make predict pre, uh, make predictions based on but on what basis on the basis of human benefits right as uh, so still like an uh, so you still need to to have a you know guidance for the for the AI right so it's not letting the AI to do whatever they think is it's the best I, I think that yes that we should absolutely control the quality of knowledge that is produced and we should develop theory about that so mm -hmm. Uh, today, uh, I think it, it is an important problem because some people want to use AI systems without any control in some unchecked manner. Yeah. And uh, this is this is a huge risk for the society. When you use uh, AI systems, we should make sure that there are humans in the loop or, or that, uh, okay, I mean, we should guarantee that they use uh, neutral, unbiased, reliable knowledge or they produce this and um, okay this is this is a very complex uh, hard problem but uh, since you mentioned that like um, if we want to involve many people in this um, in this loop and uh, doing contributions to to it uh, but if like the technology is controlled by a uh, fewer big companies or like it won't be it won't be possible right so some of the researchers in china in the world has also mentioned like uh, uh, for example chat gpt uh, should open source um like they did open source for the for the future generations of uh, before but now they are not right so what do you think um like um, the open source of chat gpt and all that kind of uh, lms or future ai technologies yes okay but but this is uh yes it's it's clear that today and this is not a good thing uh most of the research on ai is controlled by big tech companies and uh and even they are leading all, all this uh, initiative. Now they have an absolute control. And uh, of course, some people are saying that uh, ChatGPT should be open source. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that, okay, of course, it would be good to be open source, but but uh, the big companies decide and they decide uh, based on on on, uh, on economic criteria and their strategy. Uh, yeah. uh, open source, of course, is, is, is a good idea uh, because... Uh, it's best suited when there are many avenues to explore, and this is the case today. And uh, when mm -hmm. the investment in development is risky and uh, not directly profitable, and yeah. uh, we want to see, stimulate some synergy between people and the creation of a community of users, of, of users and, and potential consumers. Uh, however, large technology companies uh, will be able to turn off the tap if uh, they feel uh, threatened uh, by competition. And I think this is what is going to happen. Of course, they will not uh, leave uh, uh, open access to other companies because they have invested a lot and they want to yeah. control the process. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that absolutely makes sense. Uh, but uh, like in terms of the security of uh, or responsibility of of AI, there's some people arguing like in terms of the open source as well because one. On one side, people are saying like if you do open source, people can insert like backdoors or like kind of some kind of viruses or some kind of a dodgy code into the into the into the AI. But on the other hand, people are saying like if you open source it, people will look into the all the code and uh, even make it yes, more safer. Yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. Of course, yes, yes. This is also, I mean, this is what I call transparency. There will be transparency yeah. about uh, how the systems are built. I think a key issue here is access to data sets. I mean, to understand how the neural nets are, are trained, okay? This is a very, very important issue uh, because finally the, the neural nets will decide depending on the way they are trained, okay? I mean, the, the, the neural nets will never invent something new, okay? Mm. They are summarizing what they learn. And, and the, here, this is the question, how you train neural nets, okay? Uh, yeah. What what you give? Uh, I mean, how you select the data, okay? And and how they you train of, for instance, say, oh, this guy is a suspect, or this is a yeah. guy, a bad guy, okay? I mean, yes. this is something that is hidden in in the data, uh, in, in the in the data set, okay? In the, in the yeah. training process. Mm -hmm. I don't know if all of this process can be transparent, okay? Like we talk about the, like the young generation since their career proceed forward. And uh, we did talk about like the AI would impact them because like few few weeks or a few weeks ago, it's just uh, finished the biggest examinations of, uh, you know, the high school students in China. When they go to the college, they need to take the exams. But after the exams, they have to choose their major, 
in college as well. I got a lot of questions asking like, should I choose computer science or should I choose electronic engineering or should I choose finance or other other major? As a Turing Award winner, what do you think? Should the people still choosing computer science as their, as their major? Oh, yes. Uh, I, uh, yes, this is a question I hear very frequently in, in, in interviews. I understand that uh, younger people are anxious about the future. Uh, uh, what I would say, it is more than obvious that uh, the advent of LLMs uh, and AI will create unemployment uh, in the sense that the balance between the jobs created for AI specialists and the jobs eliminated due to the replacement of men by machine will be negative. So mm -hmm. there will be a problem, a problem with unemployment. And I would say that uh, here again, there is a political problem because over the centuries in human history, Scientific and technical progress has enabled mankind to improve living conditions and notably to give people more free time. So I hope that at some point also some measures will be taken by government because this improvement in productivity should be uh, translated by appropriate economic and social reforms, in particular educational reforms uh, into an improvement of, of the quality of life. Now, I do not think now to talk to the younger people uh, I don't think that the young people should be influenced by such phenomena because mm. uh, uh, there will be always need for highly qualified computer scientists and engineers. Yeah. And uh, I would advise young people to try to acquire and solid and broad uh, multidisciplinary scientific and technical culture. Mm -hmm. I find that the most curriculum offer a very specialized education that fits the needs of the job market. And this is a trap, in fact. Uh, if they have a narrow background and expertise, this can be a serious handicap in a career because then the needs of, of, of the job market and profiles change fast and unpredictably. What you need today, perhaps uh, tomorrow will not be uh, needed anymore. So yeah. my advice to young people is uh, not to let themselves uh, be influenced by trends that can pass. Mm -hmm. uh, also, I know that many people uh, now are obsessed by the idea of making money here and now, mm -hmm. and, and I don't think that this is a good idea. Mm -hmm. I think that the younger people should try to develop their creativity, their spirit of leadership by seeking application of their scientific and technical background and knowledge and their talents, uh, in particular through hands-on practice and participation to projects. And uh, they should elaborate a personal vision about their fulfillment. You see, that's very, very important for humans of, of fulfillment, to feel happy with the job we will be doing. Okay? And uh, if we are happy and you are motivated, then professional success and money will come as recognition of the skills and, and talents. Because it's very important to understand that uh, you spend most of your life working. And yes. uh, if you do a job that is uh, boring, uh, then, then you will not be satisfied in your life. Okay, and and for me at least, this is a, this is a, 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 this has been always a criterion in the choices I made in my life. Mm. Yeah, because I see from your book, you also mentioned about happiness and uh, and yes. uh, schedule about uh, uh, your future, like and in terms of time management and all the kind of productivity kind of stuff. Because uh, there's a kind of a common situations in many big uh, tech companies, uh, people spending about probably too much time on work uh, instead of uh, spending time to their personal life or families and happiness and stuff. So in that sense, uh, do you think people would should um, uh, do some more better balance on their work life and uh... no i don't think so <laughs> no? <laughs> no 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 okay let me explain this because that's a very important idea i explain also in in, in the book in fact the happiness is uh, something very personal okay i mean mm. I, I i like very much my work i'm happy with my work or i work i i usually i i must have no vacation okay but mm. I am um, uh, this uh, fulfillment. This is uh, this is the dream of my life. Mm. I think, of course, people should try to have uh, a, 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 a balance to find a balance between uh, leisure and, and work. Okay, but I will not say that you should work uh, uh, strictly. I don't know eight hours per, per day or something like that. Okay, I mean just enjoy your life. Okay, if you like mm. your your work, just okay. Of course. 
uh, family life is something very important, having children and things like that, okay? But I will not say that there should be very strict rules, okay? People should create the conditions to feel happy, okay? And mm. happiness is something very, very, very personal, okay? Uh, mm. uh, very personal situation, okay? Uh, uh, so I will not say just uh, strict rules, okay? No, no, I'm against that. So, so destination or journey, which one do you think is more important? Think the journey important. is very important, not the destination. Yes, yes. Okay. The destination, you never know the destination, okay? There is okay. A, a famous poem about that, you know, the, the trip of uh, Ulysses, okay? Mm. Going back to, uh, by, going back home, traveling for uh, 10 years. Finally, mm. the, the trip was as important as, as coming back home, okay?